Welcome back, guys. So in the previous video, we talked about the solid principles, uh, the S in the solid principles, which stands for single responsibility. So now we're going to talk about the O. So what is the O? Open, close principles. So what that means is when you have a class that you have already created, now let's just say it was deployed, everything is now in production, you can no longer modify it, right? So you can extend it. It's open for extension but it's closed for modification. So what does that mean? So looking at this example, let's pretend this has been deployed and these two classes can no longer be modified, but now I need to make upgrades to the system, to the platform. So how am I going to go about doing that? So let's first start by instantiating this class. So I'm just gonna say class uh, superhero. I mean, not class, const superhero is equal to a new person. Because we know that the superhero is a person. So now this superhero can walk, right? So here we can say superhero walk. All right, so that's how we would call it. So if we did a console.log around this uh, superhero walk and we run it, what's gonna happen is the superhero is walking, right? So that's pretty cool. So far we have a superhero and he walks and that's the kind of person that he is. But let's say we wanted to extend this kind of behavior, either jumping or walking, and we wanted to add more stuff to it. So the way you would do it, there's multiple ways to do that, but let me give you one example. So you can actually use inheritance. So you can say something like, let's create a new class. We're going to call this class superhero, and it's going to extend. So it extends the person class, right? So what that means is it's taking everything from here and it's making it available inside of this class. So now I'm extending it. So now I have this superhero class and what I can do is I can say, hey, this superhero can also fly. So here we're gonna say return, I am flying. Okay. So now down here where we actually created a new instance of the class, we can say superhero. So now we replaced instead of person, we replaced it with superhero. So since we did that and it's inheriting from this class right here, we should still technically be able to call the walk function. So if I cleared out the console and then I run it again, you see, I am walking, but wait, there's more. So now that we have this superhero instead of walking, we can say, hey, I want to fly. So we can call the fly function. We run it and now we're flying. So that is an example of the open close principle. So what that means, again, is you can actually extend a class that's already been written, but you should never modify it. So that is the open close principle explained for you guys in a nutshell. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Give me some support. Give me a like. Give me a comment. All that would be appreciated. I'll be doing a follow-up video about this gov substitution method in the following segment. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.